Hello Transport Explorers, and welcome to the first video of Perth Metronet Explorations. Today we are at Bull Creek Station, but our sights are set on Bayswater Station. That's right, Bayswater Station has just finally reopened. Well, partially reopened, with only Platform 1 and 2 being open. This, these will serve the Midland and Airport line for now. And here comes our train right now. Just arriving at Meltham. This was the previous uh, change station on the Midland and Airport line. If you want to change from the Midland line to the Airport line, you change here. There was an announcement about that. But now that has been changed off. This is Meltham. Previously, it would say, this is Meltham, change here for airport line services, or change here for Midland line services. Something along the lines of that. Tracks one, two, on track three. Signal that we're just about to pull in to Bayswater Station. Here we go. Next station, Bayswater. Then all stations to High Wigger, including Airport Central. Change at Bayswater for Midland line services. And that's the new announcement. Be serious, Bayswater Station. and archetypes. Okay, let's move to the door. Incredible. I love the copper panelling. And here is my first look at Bayswater Station. This is Bayswater. Change here for Midland Line Service. So the incredible train. You can see the dual gauge trackage. I'll get this train departing for you. Stranger driver has to look out to check for any passengers in the door. Interesting operation, similar to a guard. Wow, that sounds incredible. The sounds of the wheels and the tracks. Okay, now let's take a look around the platforms. This is platform one over here. You can see Bayswater Station sign. Very lovely. Some lovely artwork here. There's some nice luminescent lights and the copper panelling. Looks incredible. And 
Over here we have the way out for the Code Street East entrance. We have stairs. We have an escalator right around here. And the lifts, which are right there. Code Street West exit is over that way. And it's pretty much the same that way. Continuing down the platform. Right over there, you'll see the future provisions for platform three and four. Those will serve platform four and one will be serving more the Ellenville Climb, and platform three and two will be serving the Midland and Airport lines. Now we continue down this way. As we make our way to the end, we'll take the lift down to the Code Street West exit, and we'll head down to the bus interchange. Ah, we've got a new information board. The next train to Perth departs in seven minutes. The train stops all stations. And that's the new information. We'll now take the lift down. It's got new touch sensor. You can see I hold it and it says go. Let's go. And that's the new platforms for you. Let's make our way down to the concourse level, see the new facilities. Oh, there's an exit on the other side. I was not expecting that. We've got the stairs. We've got the new Basewater Station sign. We could do walk down. The other side, if we had done this way, it's used for pedestrian. They're currently doing testing of the new lights, I presume. And here we go. Crossing over. Right around here. If we head to this temporary passage here, we'll make our way over to the bus stops. Anyway, yeah, this is all the bus stops they're using currently to serve Basewater Station. They're very interesting. So, Right over there, there's some new bus stops. As you can see, that was the side of the old Bayswater station and you can see already new structures for platform three and four. Let's make our way over. And here we arrive. This will be the bus stop for 48 and 998 buses respectively and here is the 998 currently pulling into the stop TP3381 serving 998 circle wrap That's that. And off it goes. We'll head to the bus stop area. And now we will be re entering the station. Currently at concourse level, there is a ticket machine, another information booth, the new. TV screen signs the delivered by Metronet. Very lovely, let's tag off. Tag on, okay. There's a defibrillator as with every other station. You can manage it. There's also a water fountain and water refill station. That's definitely a new feature, we really see. We've got these 
Super narrow. Let's play this. Very narrow. I don't think you can see narrow aspects like this anywhere else on the network. And it's obviously due to the platform sizings. Now make your way up now. service coming in six minutes at the very end of the platform we can see the red signal and the pantographs leading off instead of using ballast they obviously put them onto concrete sleepers that they just concreted into the ground at the very end there You'll be able to see, I'll zoom in for you, those structures there, those will be for the new Morley Allen Brook line. You can't see it here, but there is the track obviously off to, off to the airport. Uh, here comes the Perthbound train with the line. Coming in on platform one. Nice driveway. Set two, four, three, and two, three, seven, and set forty three and thirty seven. Midland line train arriving. Now boarding the service. Now we make our way south to the Bayswater, some of the Bayswater crossover points. See the old and off it goes. I'll flash it from that now what the station layout will look like in the future. Over here we have the health office with the staff being stationed there. Some staff toilets and comms. And that is south of the station. I'll zoom in slightly for you. And that is Bayswater Station. Definitely a wonderful new station. I can confirm I was on the first ever airport line train going through Bayswater Station. That's right, the first ever to go through the new Bayswater Station. It's uh, amazing to just do that. That was pure luck though, I almost missed it. I had uh, two minutes to run from Perth Underground to Perth platform eight. But yes, that was the first ever, in the intro you saw me riding, first ever airport line train through the new Basewater station. And that is all we'll be covering in today's video. Sorry for the quick cut there. But we are now going to film the first ever Perthbound Airport Line train to come through Basewood Station. Definitely unique. Hopefully, it's most certainly a first for me. We'll quickly pop up to the other platform to see the airport line, the airport bound airport line train. 
This is the first I think I rode in. Yeah, maybe I did ride in on the first. Yeah, not sure. Let's see. Here it comes. Here it comes, it's got its headlights on. Set 113. And there it is. Now I'll cross over to the other side. That's fine. So we'll see the dispatch procedure. Yeah. It's slightly abnormal. We'll see at the end the driver will come and actually look outside the train to check that all passengers are clear of the doors. At least that's what the last driver did. Or maybe not. Ah yes. They're just doing normal dispatch procedure via CCTV. And you can see this camera's placed up there. That is an incredible sound to hear. You can see they have provisions for the future. Tell them what button. Oh, here's the first ever airport line, airport line train stopping at Bayswater. Well, first ever airport line train heading towards Perth. This is the train I rode it on, set 56. First ever train. This was the train I rode in on, I'm pretty sure. Let's try to get the departure. That was the arrival of the first ever <coughs> B-Series airport line Perthbound train. It's just about to depart. Good guys. Here it goes. Here it goes. First ever Perth bound Apple Line train. And there it goes. This is the first train, I think, first A series at Bayswater Station. Well, the first ever A series coming to Bayswater Station, set number one. The oldest one, set. The oldest train, set one. All this ever coming to the newest, the technical newest station on the network. You can count it. And off it goes, couple to set 46. There it goes. Very rare sight. That's a very good catch. That is all I'll be covering in today's video. And I'm pretty sure that's all for today. The Perth Transport Explorers Metronet Explorations. See you next time.